All the naysayers are back at it again. Tesla announces something positive and they somehow find a way to twist that into a negative. If it were so easy to do what they've just done, to make the revenue they've just made, to make the profits they've just made, then why isn't everyone else doing it? I don't understand. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. It's fantastic to have you here. Really appreciate your support. Tesla has just revealed nearly 50% of all cars it delivered in 2022 so far this year. Well, surprise, surprise, lithium iron phosphate batteries. I mean, analysts are saying they're shocked at Tesla's revenues, in particular Tesla's margins, Tesla's profitability. You know, it wasn't long ago before they were saying Tesla would never make a profit, was it? Was it about one year? Incredible how short their memories are. Well, now the narrative is changing. People are saying, well, well, if Tesla's using LFP, then they don't have an advantage over the competition. They don't have an advantage. <laughs> okay. Okay. First, let's have a look at the reality of what's going on, what Tesla said. Then let's discuss if there's any merit to these naysayers' claims that Tesla doesn't have an advantage. According to The Electric, who, to be fair, they love to run a clickbait article about Tesla. They love to do it because it gets them lots of clicks. But this article was pretty factual. Tesla have confirmed nearly half of its vehicles produced last quarter are already using cobalt-free lithium iron phosphate batteries, which I've been going on and on about ad nauseum. If you watch the channel, you're probably sick of hearing about them by now. The information gives us interesting insight into Tesla's mix of models, which isn't really all that well known for the most part. Now, over the last few years, Elon has said many times that Tesla plans to shift more electric cars to LFP batteries in order to overcome nickel and cobalt supply concerns. This is not the only reason he said that. Sorry, electric, you haven't been paying attention. He's also said because he's aware of what's really going on in the battery technology industry, which is LFP battery energy density is significantly improving. By the end of this year, the reality is lithium ternary batteries or NMC or cobalt-based batteries, nickel-based batteries, won't have any significant range advantage over LFP. So why would you want to own them? They have all the disadvantages and no advantages. Elon has known this for quite some time. That's why he supplied contracts, long-term large contracts with companies like CATL, BYD, and Ghostron High Tech for lithium ion phosphate batteries. Yes, that is an advantage. Long-term large supply contracts is unquestionably an advantage. Now, for those of you who don't know, LFP batteries, which don't use nickel or cobalt, are much cheaper and safer and last a lot longer in terms of their overall lifetime. But they have one drawback, which is less energy density, which means less efficient, shorter range for electric vehicles. But this is mitigated somewhat by the fact that you can charge your LFP battery to 100%, right? Full capacity. But with your ternary battery, your, your NMC or whatever chemistry your ternary battery is, there's quite a few different ones. You're recommended that you should not charge them above 80%. So in everyday usage, you don't. People don't because it's not a good idea, right? So in theory, really, the stated range of your ternary battery is lower than the claims because you shouldn't charge it above 80%. But your LFP battery is going to give you pretty much what the claims are, right? Makes sense? LFP batteries have improved significantly over the past few years, but this year they're going to improve a whole lot more. But I digress. It's made sense for Tesla to use them over cobalt-based batteries in their lower range vehicles. Because why? Because profit, because cheaper vehicles for customers, because well, better chemistry, in my view anyway. This has also freed up the production of battery cells with other more energy-dense chemistries to produce longer-range vehicles. So it's a really smart strategy from Tesla, and I'm still shocked that no other automakers are doing it. Well, no other automakers in the traditional sense when I'm talking about legacy auto, such as, you know, Ford, General Motors, Toyota, etc. 
Now, Tesla has already moved its standard range Model 3 and Model Y produced in China vehicles to LFP battery cells. And, you know, it hasn't hurt customer demand. If anything, it's improved customer demand. Flight lists are growing longer and longer and longer and longer and longer. Last year, Tesla announced it is shifting to LFP battery chemistry globally for standard range vehicles. So that'll mean Germany, Texas, California as well. I'll be using them. Now, Tesla confirmed they're planning to switch the standard range vehicles in Fremont, right? This vehicle is known as the Model 3 rear-wheel drive to LFP cells as well. Now, the electric says, with the release of Tesla's Q1 2022 financial results, Tesla have confirmed nearly half of all vehicles produced are now using LFP batteries. They also confirmed at the same time record profits. Coincidence much? I don't think so. Diversification of battery chemistries is critical for long-term capacity growth to better optimize our products for their various use cases and expand our supplier base. This is why nearly half of Tesla vehicles produced in Q1 were equipped with LFP batteries containing no nickel and no controversial cobalt. Now, for those of you who are interested, I've made a video refuting the claims of a video that's gone viral. It's been seen by a couple of million people on a ridiculous shock horror news channel saying how EVs are death machines. Why? Because they all use cobalt. That cobalt is all mined by slave labor, children who are dying in mines. Therefore, EVs are evil. Well, as you can see here, the trend now, cars are moving away from using cobalt. Why? It's expensive, right? So that is the good news. That's one of the benefits of LFP. No child mining, no slave labor. Currently, LFP batteries are used in most of our standard range vehicle products, as well as commercial energy storage applications. As a result of our energy efficient motors, a Model 3 with an LFP battery pack can still achieve a 267 mile EPA range. Now, recently that range was upgraded for the 2022 model year. The pack is bigger and it's also more efficient. So this means that roughly half of Tesla's volume comes from Model 3 rear wheel drive, which is the cheapest Tesla vehicle and Model Y standard range which is currently only offered in China. Don't worry, it'll soon be available in a number of other countries as well. Drew Baglino, Tesla's SVP of engineering, was asked how quickly can Tesla switch chemistry to LFP? This is really important. How quickly can Tesla switch chemistry to LFP? Why don't you ask the same question of Volkswagen, right? Ask the same question of Ford. Ask the same question of General Motors. I bet you they can't even give you an answer because they don't even know, right? This is an advantage that Tesla has. They've planned for this. Plan for it. I'll tell you what happens when you don't plan for it. I'll link you to a video in the description below that I made of Honda taking an internal combustion engine vehicle, slapping a battery pack on the bottom of it that hangs down, nearly hits the ground. That's what happens when you don't plan. I'll take the LFP question. I Like it says in our letter, Half of our products were LFP last quarter, which shows how quickly we were able to respond. Honestly, it wasn't because of a raw material shortage. It just seemed like the right thing to do. We could change our cathode chemistry, and there's more to be done on the cathode side. We are actively pursuing it to give us substitution flexibility in response to market conditions between the other cathodes that are out there that can be competitive in our vehicle. There are many options. How many automakers are telling you this, right? There are many options. They're not. They're not telling you that because for them, there are not many options. Tesla's basically playing chess when the other guys are playing checkers. Now, the executive from Tesla didn't go into details about these other options, but, 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 Elon Musk has recently said that Tesla is working on a new manganese-based cathode battery. Using manganese will allow Tesla to reduce the amount of nickel they use in their nickel-based batteries, right? These are the batteries that are not lithium ion phosphate. The nickel-based batteries, well, they're expensive because nickel is ludicrously expensive. So once Tesla start using more manganese in these batteries, it will significantly reduce the cost for Tesla and you'd hope for the consumer as well. I'm not even gonna go into all the ridiculous comments that have been made about this news report from Tesla. 
Uh, I read it and I thought, great, this is fantastic. And then I started reading all the comment sections and different websites and wow, blown away at how stupid these people are. It is not a disadvantage to use LFP batteries, my friends. Do some research. It is an advantage. It's an advantage for the consumer. It's an advantage for Tesla. It means more battery supply. It means less reliance on cobalt and nickel. And if other automakers could do it, they would be doing it right now. They're not because they can't. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.